Hello, Phil Newton England here with another Crystal Maze video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at, at this. It's an application form for the 1994 Children's Christmas Special. Now, the public knew at the time that there was going to be another Christmas special. So a few advertisements were sent out asking for children to apply for the show. Now, as I said, this was in 1994 and back then I myself was only 23. So I knew that I was too old to apply, but I thought I'd write to Chats with Television asking if I could have an application form for my Crystal Maze collection. And they very kindly sent me this. So we'll have a quick look and then you can get a general idea of the things that they were looking for in future contestants. So we'll have a look. Obviously at the top you've got the Crystal Maze logo. And it says the Crystal Maze 1994 Children's Christmas Special application form. Please complete this form and return it with a recent photograph to Crystal Maze Contestant Research, Chatsworth Television, London. We regret the photograph cannot be returned and we shall only contact you if we wish to call you for an interview. Candidates will be chosen on an individual basis, independent of friends or relatives, and candidates must be aged between 10 to 15. Note for parents, travelling expenses to interviews cannot be refunded. So then they ask for your name, your age, your address, your date of birth, your home phone number, parent, guardian, te uh, telephone number. What is your height and weight and your sex or your gender? Have you applied to be on the Crystal Maze before? Yes or no? If so, where were you interviewed? Name and address of your school, name of headmaster or mistress. What skills do you possess? And are you a member of any activity stroke drama club? Then we'll have a look on the next page. What are your leisure interests? How often do you play sports? Do you ever do crosswords, puzzles, etc? Yes or no? If so, which ones? Have you any fears or aversions? For example, heights. Have you done any amateur or professional acting? Have you ever been on a television game or quiz show? If so, which and when? How do you rate yourself in the following categories? Please indicate the area you are most suited to and explain why. Then we have lateral thinker, computer games enthusiast, strong, agile stroke gymnast, or an all-rounder, sporty, and then why? How fit are you? Are you colourblind? Do you have any allergies? Please indicate below where you would like to attend an interview should you be selected. Circle one choice. Once again, travel expenses cannot be refunded. Then we have a choice of locations. There's Birmingham, Manchester, Bath, London, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Norwich, Brighton and Newcastle. Then it says, should you be selected for an interview? One, we will contact you by phone or letter. Two, you will be required to supply a doctor's statement to say that you are healthy. We will supply this form for a parent or guardian to get signed by your GP. Then we have, uh, please note, should you be selected as a contestant for the programme, your parent or guardian will be required to sign an indemnity form and accompany you to the studio for two days of shooting. Please use the space below to tell us about yourself and why you think you would make a good Crystal Maze contestant. Then there's a, a bit of space there for you to write, write a bit about yourself. Then from the shows you have seen so far, what is your most memorable moment and why? Then please number the following attributes from one to six in order of importance for contestants on the Crystal Maze. Then we have this list here, Team Spirit, leadership, lateral thinking, sense of humour, ability to perform in front of camera and confidence. Then it gives you a question. Ed's horse Bert ate a hundred apples in five days. Each day he ate six more than in the previous day. How many apples did he eat on the first day? And obviously there's a space there for your answer. And then on the last page, again, we have your measurement form. 
obviously the Crystal Maze logo at the top, the address and phone numbers. Uh, measurement form in feet and inches, the Crystal Maze Children's Christmas Special Series 6, 1994. Then name of contestant, height, weight, shoe size, inside leg, chest or bust, your hips and waist. And then underlined, please be honest. So they know that they can suit you up in the proper attire. So there you go. That's a children's Christmas special application form for the 1994 Christmas episode of The Crystal Maze. I do have one somewhere for the adult version. It's just knocking around my house somewhere. So I shall have a look for that. And um, I think the, the questions on there are a bit more intricate and in-depth. So when I find that, I'll do another video of that. But hopefully, I hope this is interest. Um, give you a bit of interest in this. And maybe next time, if the show does come back, you could be applying to be a contestant. So until then, take care. Bye.